Hi guys, Sidra here. Today I'm going to be deep cleaning my dishwasher. And unfortunately for you, you guys are going to join me. Seriously, you are. Alright? Anyway, so a lot of you might think that dishwasher, doesn't it wash dishes and gets cleaned? But let me tell you, you definitely need to deep clean your dishwasher to get it to work properly. Now for me, I have a really old dishwasher. It was in this house when we moved four years ago. And the only way to keep it going is to deep clean it. Like every two or three weeks, I give it a really good deep clean and that's what keeps it going. So I'll show you how I clean mine without any chemicals and then you can tell me what you think of it. So come on, let's go. So it has definitely been over two weeks and my dishwasher was due for a clean. In order to do that, I first take out the filter. You need to read the instructions on your dishwasher manual to figure out what works for you. I soak it in hot water and some dishwashing liquid and leave it there. Then I get a old toothbrush and some bicarb soda with some vinegar. I make a little paste and then I use that old toothbrush and go all through the sides of the dishwasher. Then I use a multi-purpose spray. This is a plant-based natural spray that I spray and go through the sides to get any residue that has been lurking behind all those corners. Don't forget to get the area where the door meets. This is how dirty it was. Once I wipe that, I go through the side rubber paneling and scrub those with a toothbrush as well. Make sure you get the dishwashing tablet tray as well so that that's perfectly clean too. Now just take a kitchen towel and wipe everything that's been there. It ha usually has some leftover food particles so I wipe it with a, dish with a wet towel just so that it stays clean. Now let's get to the filter that we were soaking. Use the same toothbrush to scrub the filter. That'll clean the toothbrush as well. Mine comes apart in two pieces. That's what I do. I scrub it and then I get the tray as well. This one was really dirty and it had a lot of food particles which came out while soaking but it still needed a good scrub. So I just got in there with my toothbrush and cleaned it as much as I could. Don't forget the back side. That also needs a good clean. Rinse it off and I think you'll be good to go. Now once that is done, I'll put my tray back and the filter. It'll go back in where it belongs. And then I'll take some bicarb. You, I've got some cleaning bicarb. You can use normal bicarb available in cleaning aisles everywhere. And then I've got some normal white vinegar that I pour over. This will unclog the drain and clean. Then I use some lemon and put it in the basket for a deodorizing effect. It's a natural deodorizer and gives a really good smell. I then use my multi-purpose spray to clean the dishwasher from the outside as well. These sides often get neglected. And there it is. I am polishing off the front, all the buttons and everything else that needs to be done. Don't forget to clean the handle of the dishwasher as well because that gets dirty and it's not noticeable. It's the one area that we touch a lot. Mine is a stainless steel one, so I'm just working extra hard to get it to shine. Now I turn the dishwasher on and run it on the longest cycle. My dishwasher has switched off now. I ran it on the longest cycle. I let the steam out and I pull the baskets to see if it's clean and it looks perfect. And believe it or not, I get a slight hint of that lemon deodorizing smell in there as well. The interior is shiny, the sides are clean, and this dishwasher is now ready to take on the rest of our dirty dishes for a good two weeks or so until it needs more cleaning. So thank you for watching and I hope you really like this video. Clean your dishwashers and let me know how you like this video. Thank you!